What's up guys, it's Jay Snipes here. Uh, we're up here at Bro Canyon in California. Bro Canyon Shooting Park. Finally got, uh, I'm gonna have one for a long time, Ruger Gun Sight Scout Rifle. It was gun for a long time, uh, probably like ever since it came out. Um, finally got it, so here we are. I got the stainless version, uh, stainless steel version, like it. When I first got it, Right here, I had a whole bunch of little gunk uh, from the manufacturer, so I've cleaned that off because it wasn't closing the bolt properly. Clean that off. Other than that, I should probably mention this is chambered in 5.56, not 308. Um, and I got 5.56 because uh, the cost of shooting is way, way lower than 308, which is kind of up my alley. So I got the 5.56 version also because it's being discontinued. Um, as of right now, Ruger no longer has it listed on its website, so I thought I might pick it up before uh, my gun, my local gun dealer, ran out. Couldn't get any more. So, and I got it for half off, which is nice. Magazine. If you want to come closer to me? It's a, it's the 308 magazine that they have, except they put in a plastic insert, um, which I guess works. It's the Accuracy International Mag. Um, and it's just an insert. It works fine. Uh, from what I've been told and seen, uh, the polymer ones work a lot better. Uh, and it's got the little Ruger logo right there. Uh, I haven't had any problems yet. The few shots I've shot it with, it's relatively easy to load. But with the polymer ones, you can load it from the top. With this one, take it around. You have to push down and back. And the next one, you have to push on the, like, pretty much almost on the bullet itself push down and back but easiest way to do it if you have problems with that get your thumb push down on the back push the bolt down the front and then push back it makes it a little bit easier any hoosies let's get to shooting shall we let's load up our mag real quick one two three four five five rounds we have a target down at 25 yards um we're not doing it at 50 or 100 yards because the front sight is way too coarse on the iron sights, um, so I, the whole sight's covering up, covering it up at 50 or 100 yards. So until I get a scope, we're just going to do actually at 25 yards, and then we'll go from there. Let's go. Uh, again, I'm not the best shot, so don't butch me too much in the comments. And we're using a Caldwell 7 rest. Got this on sale for about uh, 8 bucks. Not bad. Here we go, we have good protection on. Cool. Right now we're shooting some uh, Norma USA TAC 223 uh, 55 grain. Alrighty. Alright, so next we're going to try out some Winchester 5.56 5, 55 grain white box. Alright. Well, changed my sunglasses because the sun was burning my eyes out. So now we got some Hornady. 223 Superformance Varmint 53 grain VMAX. So I'm hoping this stuff does really good because I paid a pretty penny for it. Uh, now we have some Wolf Polyformance 223 55 grain. Right, so now we're going to use some PMC Bronze 223-55 grain, full metal jacket boat tail rounds. I believe these are made in South Korea. Could be wrong, don't quote me. Okay, well, let's see how we did. Alright, so now we're down here at the targets after shooting the Ruder gun sight. Oh. Something's having fun. So, right here, 
the top one we have the normal tack 22355 grain at 25 yards uh, it's about mm, maybe an inch overall because these are inch squares uh, maybe more than an inch maybe inch and a quarter inch and a half not bad I wasn't expecting much out of that one uh, we come over to here uh, we have the Winchester uh, white box 556 55 grain Again, not a super, it, it's it's about an inch, maybe a little bit over an inch, so not bad. Um, I wasn't expecting much out of that one either. Now, the one I was expecting to do very well is because I paid a lot of money for it. Yeah, it was the Hornady 223 55 grain VMAX. Uh, it printed a very good group. It's just one straight hole, like almost someone took like a box cutter and just put box cutter in there. That's really nice, I like that. Uh, about an inch, maybe less. These squares aren't inches. Um, uh, so definitely with under an inch. I'm very happy with that. It's at 50, 100 yards. going to open up a little more. Um, and it's also having me, uh, having to do with me uh, only using iron sights. And that front post on here, it's very coarse and it's very big. Uh, so when I put a scope on here, we'll do another accuracy test with a scope, see how it does. This is just for practical accuracy. Uh, next we have uh, PMC. I use the same target for the uh, PMC and the Wolf. So right here is PMC. Opened up a lot. Uh, we had one flyer and then we had these. I don't know if you want to call this a flyer or not, but not super great uh, for PMC. I'm a little disappointed in that. Wolf actually not too bad. Uh, we had one flyer and then I remember pulling this shot right here. Uh, so that one's me. We have three shots right next to each other and one flyer and one me just pulling the trigger uh, wrong. So, Wolf, not too bad, but I'm very happy with this Hornady. Um, overall, guys, not too bad. Uh, oh, actually, yes, my camera, my camera one just reminded me of this. The Tactic 3 actually did a pretty good little group right here. Um, wasn't too bad. Uh, I'm gonna say three shots right on top of each other, with one a uh, little down to the uh, bottom and right. Not too bad, and then we got one flyer right there. So overall, not too bad for the Norma. That was the one of the first uh, groups we did off camera. Uh, so not too bad. Um, overall, this is literally the first rain trip, range trip. So I've played about what five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 rounds of this so far. Uh, not too bad. I'm gonna get some polymer ones, make it a little bit lighter. I might get the um, the. Uh, Polymer stock as well. Interesting note, uh, I called Ruger not too long ago to ask them if their um, st uh, their uh, polymer stock for the 308 would fit the 555, five, eh, can't speak today, 556 five, version. They said yes it does. This in all, in all purposes um, is just a 308 uh, size down to a 556. Five, the bolt is a 308 bolt except they've uh, uh, milled out a little bit on the bolt face to fit a 556. They didn't size it down. It's it's a 308. It's got the heavy 308 barrel. Again, chamber down for 556. So any of the accessories that are going to fit on the 308 are going to fit on the 556 version as well. Uh, I haven't seen any videos about that, so now you guys know. Um, we're going to put a scope on there. Also, um, I'll do more in-depth review of the gun total after I've shot it more. Um, I'm saying um a lot, aren't I? Anyways, we'll do a more in-depth review. Uh, get a take after I've shot about maybe probably like a thousand rounds through it. We'll do a more in-depth review of it. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon. That really helps me out. Uh, finally got a better job. I'm out at the gun store. Uh, so a lot more money coming my way. So I can start doing more videos for you guys. It's been a little slow. I promise it's going to pick back up again. Um, thank you again for the people who have subscribed to me and who are still watching. I know my videos aren't the best, but they're going to get better and better with your support and uh, your input. So I thank you guys. I hope you guys have a blessed day. And uh, be safe. God bless America. See you later.